Hi there, um, this is something that I don't normally do. Um, today we're having a video kind of presenting a recent purchase. I'm no good at these kind of videos. If you want to see how they're done, uh, I recommend so many other YouTube channels, including my friend Kevin Shields does a Cracked Reel uh, podcast, a YouTube channel where he spends way more than I do on stuff and uh, shows the, the insides, the contents very nicely. But this is a, a special thing. Um, Shawscope Volume 1 from Arrow. There have been a few issues with Arrow recently. Um, first of all, I, I pre-ordered this kind of day one, uh, wanted this, and then Arrow had their site data migration. So a few orders had to be redone. And a couple of orders were in the system, but uh, you couldn't find them anymore. So the email told me that this was fine and uh, to just, you know, not worry about it. And then everyone started to receive this last week and I didn't. So I contacted them and um, had a reply asking for more details. And then I said, well, I've given you the new order reference I was given. Here's the old order reference. Here's the PayPal ID, et cetera, et cetera. And then the next day, uh, basically, this turned up, which was good fortune. Um, because I feel it's lucky. I kept my emails. And it's very disappointing that, you know, I didn't get a, a dispatch notification or anything. And then recently, I'm not one to complain about Arrow's title choices, because if they have stuff that I don't want. It's just better for my wallet that month. Um, I'm not entirely sure I like this new pattern of some titles being exclusive to Zavi though, who now own Arrow or the Hut Company or whoever it is, because uh, one, you don't get your Arrow reward points and two, uh, Zavi are notorious for worse uh, packaging and post than, uh, you know, Arrow themselves. So, um, you know, as with every company over the years, there are ups and downs. This doesn't seem to be um, a good thing, though, with them working with Savvy. Anyway, on to this amazing piece of work. I've seen people complain about the packaging here. I'm not entirely sure what their problem is. Um, it is just a pretty solid box. It's gorgeous. And what you have is every film is here. Uh, most of them, I think all of them have commentaries. There's loads of extras for each one. Uh, a couple of them have their own discs. And then you move on to a mix. So this disc has five Shaolin Masters and Shaolin Temple. Uh, this one, again, on its own, Mighty Peking Man. Looking forward to that. Um, you've got Challenge of the Masters and Executioners from Shaolin. The artwork throughout is gorgeous. Um, Chinatown Kids. Because I missed a lot of these on their first run, I think I've seen the Five Venoms, but it's one that everyone may have seen. Uh, I'm not familiar with really... Which ones are better than others? Uh, which ones are worse? And even, uh, you know, if the artwork is kind of original or remastered or redone, I'm not sure. And at the end, you have music from Shaolin Temple, Mighty Peking Man, Chinatown Kid, and then music from the Five Venoms, Crippled Avengers, and Dirty Ho. What, uh, what I would say is, uh, I don't want to sound like some complete tech-heavy uh, snob, but less and less people have disc players now. I guess you can play music through a DVD or a Blu-ray player, but you know, um, less computers tend to have disc drives, uh, especially if you've gone for <clears throat> products, and it can be just, uh, you know, something that's not so much a requirement now, even in cars, you know, you're not really going to have a, a CD player in most modern cars you connect with your, your Bluetooth and all that. So, um, I will find a way to listen to those discs, even if it is in a main player. But, you know, it's not something... I forgot they were in there, to be honest. 
It's not something I would uh, generally go for. It's why I didn't pay out the high price they were charging for the new uh, repackaged version of The Guest, which is a film that I really like. Uh, I just couldn't justify that though because they had to charge more for getting me the soundtrack. And this book is just chock full of great writings, uh, great images. There are a couple of names in here that uh, I'll point out. I don't know the contributors to this um, in that they're not familiar to me because actually proper uh, old school style martial arts films aren't overly familiar to me. Uh, Simon Abrams did the film notes for each of these. Uh, so he is someone to thank for his contribution here. But yeah, I've bought a few more of these uh, lately with um, Arrow having this set. I don't know if uh, people have just generally been of the same mind or if they can see what might be making money. There was a cinematic vengeance set from... I'm going to say it was Eureka. So I've got that upstairs. There was the um, the nice release of the Millionaire's Express. And there are more on the way. You know, we're getting some uh, fantastic Samuel Hung movies there. The... Uh, I'm trying to think of what it's called. Is it Warriors 2? It's something to do with... Um, weapon-based martial arts and it's a very celebrated film so that will be out soon and prodigal son is what i want to say with the superb uh yun biao in there so that's uh, always been highly regarded uh james flower is another main contributor here and again all of the photography the layout is just nice and clean and it's it's just a gorgeous thing. Uh, let's let's show the special thanks here to people who contributed. I just don't understand why someone would think that this um, packaging isn't anything below quite superb, unless they wanted maybe some extra stickiness here. I mean that's just for display purposes only. Uh, fantastic selection of films for those who obviously love the Shaw Brothers stuff and you're going to know roughly what you're getting into. I've seen maybe one or two of their films before on cheap DVD rough transfers so this has got to be a real revelation. 2022? God I'm confusing the years. Maybe uh, the year in which I delve more and more into martial arts, but I also have the um, uh, Marlene Dietrich sets to get into, the Mae West. It's got to be a good year film-wise, but this uh, arriving just in time for Christmas was an absolutely superb way to just uh, end, end my year. Uh, I'm happy I made this purchase. I'm happy it didn't get lost. And uh, if anyone likes this video, uh, I've gone through it. See, I don't like unboxing videos because people sometimes just unbox things. They don't show you the inner layout. They don't cover the extras. You know, if there are commentaries, if there are, um, you know, little documentaries and such. And that's what, if you're a physical media purchaser, that's what you want to know. But this is it. Let me know if you didn't mind this video and staring at this box. And uh, I will speak to you soon.